Street Fighter, the movie is a head-to-head -head fighting game released for the PlayStation and Sega Saturn in 1995, with the game serving as a North American launch title for the former. The game is based on the 1994 live-action Street Fighter movie, itself based on the Street Fighter series of fighting games, and uses digitized images of the films cast as the characters. While it shares its title with the arcade game Street Fighter, the movie, the home version is not a port but a similar game developed on the same premise. The home version was developed and published by Capcom in Japan and released in North America, Europe and Australia by Acclaim Entertainment. Topic gameplay While the graphics consists of the same digitized images of the film's cast that were also used for the arcade version, the sprites were processed differently, the background are all different and the combat system is much closer to Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. In addition to the regular special moves and super combos, players can also perform more powerful versions of their characters' special moves known as super special moves. Much like the S moves featured in Night Warriors and the X specials later introduced in Street Fighter III Second Impact, a super special requires for the super combo gauge to be at least half full after the filled portion of the gauge turns blue and can be performed by executing the same command as a regular special move, but pressing two attack buttons instead of one. When the super combo gauge is full, the player can perform an unlimited number of super specials until the player performs a super combo. There are four game modes available. The primary single player mode, Movie Battle, is a story-based mode which follows the plot of the film. The player takes control of Guile, who is on a mission to infiltrate Bison's lair in Shadaloo City. The player can choose between different branching points after certain matches, which determines the number of opponents that will be faced before the next branching point, until reaching the final matches against Sagat, Bison and Final Bison. After completing movie battle mode, a music video of the film's theme song Something There by Chage and Asuka will be played. The other modes include an arcade-style mode called Street Battle, where the player can choose a character and then face a series of 12 computer-controlled characters, culminating with Zangief, DJ, Saget and Bison, versus Mode, a standard two-player mode like the ones in previous console versions of Street Fighter, and Trial Mode, where the player fights against the entire roster in order to achieve a high score or quick time record. During a battle, characters had new musical themes for this game. Topic. Characters The home version of Street Fighter, the movie features many of the same characters from its arcade counterpart, with a few significant differences in its roster. The original film character of Captain Sawada is featured in both versions, however his special moves are different from the ones given to him in the arcade version. The original character Blade from the arcade game, along with the other palette-swapped Bison Troopers, are not featured in the home versions. Akuma Ernie Reyes Sr., who was a regular character in the arcade game, is once again a hidden character, who is only selectable via a secret code and can only be fought as the final opponent during the trial mode. Two characters from the Street Fighter film who were not in the arcade version are included as well, DJ, played by Miguel A. Nunez, Jr., and Blanca, played by Kim Rupia. Raul Julia was set to reprise his role as M. Bison for the video game version. Although he did meet with the game's staff, he was already very ill, and ultimately was unable to participate in the project, as he died on October 1994. Darko Tuscan, Julia's stunt double from the film, instead filled the role. The only other actor not to reprise his role from the film was Robert Mamone, who portrayed Blanca. Stuntman Kim Rapia was brought on board to perform Blanca's complicated moveset. Topic. Regional differences The console versions were released as Street Fighter, Real Battle on Film in Japan, to distinguish it from the unrelated Street Fighter II movie game based on the anime film of the same title. Aside from text translations, the voice samples for characters are different between the Japanese and English versions of the game. Much like in the Japanese dub of the movie, the three Grand Masters from Street Fighter II who had their names switched between the Japanese and American versions Balrog, Vega and M. Bison are referred by westernized names in the Japanese version. In contrast, Akuma is referred to as Goki in the Japanese version. Reception 
The game received mixed to negative reviews. Marissa Melli of Yugo.com ranked it at number 102 in her top 102 worst games of all time list. Reviewing the Saturn version, Radian Automatic of Sega Saturn magazine complained of the excessive slowdown, as well as the fact that the game is not a conversion of the arcade game of the same name but simply another port of Super Street Fighter II Turbo with digitized graphics. The four reviewers of Electronic Gaming Monthly highly criticized the controls but praised the FMV cinemas and gameplay mechanics. Not all of the reviewers realized that the game was not a conversion of the arcade game of the same name, leading to some confusion. Scary Larry of GamePro gave the Saturn version a firmly negative review. He criticized the slow and choppy animation, weak battle voices, unpredictable frame redraw, and the quick recover time of fighters, saying this results in a wait and strike defensive game rather than a true competitive Street Fighter match. A reviewer for Maximum particularly criticized the poor quality of the digitization and the low frame rate. He also commented that while the gameplay is basically a port of Super Street Fighter II Turbo, it is crippled by bouts of slowdown. The fluid, instinctual response of the previous SF games seems to have been lost and with it, any real compulsion to play it. A critic for Next Generation gave the game one of its few completely positive reviews. He praised the comprehensive selection of characters and numerous modes to play in, and concluded that the game looks and plays great. GamePro gave the PlayStation version a resoundingly negative review as well. Reviewer Videohead said the game had long load times, conspicuous glitches, control lag, bad voice acting, and muddy sprites which fail to resemble the actors from the film. Despite their positive review of the Saturn version, Next Generation's brief review of the PlayStation version called it a major misstep all around. Bob Mackey of US Gamer listed Street Fighter, the movie is one of the worst launch games for the PlayStation, noting that the game is largely remembered for being an abject embarrassment. <laughs> Notes <laughs>